While the Galapagos Islands are rightly known for all of the endemic, unique animals which occur here and nowhere else in the world, they also possess a large percentage of endemic flora as well. So, over a third of the plant species known from the Galapagos Islands are native and endemic to the Galapagos, now nowhere else in the world. This is over 600 species to date. One example of an endemic plant species is the lava cactus. This is interesting because it is a pioneer species. So the way that lichens function in many other environments, being the first ones to colonize an area of bare rock and helping to begin the formation of a soil later, layer that later plants will take advantage of, lava cactus is the first plant which can colonize many patches of bare volcanic rock and help lay the groundwork for the soil which will support more diverse diverse plants in the future. There are other types of endemic cactus as well, such as the very common Opuntia cactus or prickly pear cactus. This actually grows to tree size and can be well over 30 feet tall with a thick uh, wood-like uh, trunk. This uh, tree interacts obviously with the herbivores, such as the land iguanas and the Galapagos tortoises. It is a major food source for Galapagos tortoises, but Galapagos tortoises also have an important role in dispersing the seeds of this cactus. Galapagos carpet weed is endemic to the Galapagos Islands, and this succulent plant turns a red and orange color during the cooler dry season. A plant known as Galapagos cotton or Darwin's cotton is a tall growing relative of hibiscus and the fibers associated with its seeds can be used by birds as nesting material. Two final examples of the hundreds of endemic plants in the Galapagos Islands are the Galapagos thorn shrub and the silbaba tree, which is not only endemic, but is valued to the point where this school is named after uh, the silbaba tree, and they've planted a number of the silbaba trees around the school, which bears its name.